We're getting ready to go on an adventure. The great thing about a road trip is that it is all about you. You hop in the car and you can do your thing. You can go at your own pace. You can stop when you need to. But before you hit the highway, travel expert Onika Raymond is giving us her tips for the ultimate road trip. First and foremost, you have to research and plan. Now here's the thing, the bad news is that if you are a spontaneous traveler like myself, you're not going to like traveling in this season because planning is key. But don't let that intimidate you from getting out there. It just means you need to know where to look for the right info. The CDC has a travel planner site and AAA also has a COVID-19 travel restrictions map. Now, for the most part, if you are a vaccinated traveler, you can pass freely between borders. However, there are still a number of closures. For example, uh, certain parks, national parks, may have either closures or uh, reduced hours. And with things changing constantly, it's not a bad idea to just pick up the phone and call your destination or your hotel because you want to make sure you get the most updated info. What is true at the time of a speaking may not necessarily be true even 24 or 36 hours from now. And because of that, even the best laid plans can't be perfect. So you have to be flexible. In terms of picking a destination, one of the things that I always say is to be flexible, especially now. Depending on when you are able to travel, uh, depending on what your interests are, and absolutely depending on where you were able to go. All of these factors outside of your control might mean longer stretches in the car, so plan on games and distractions, or have a backup destination just in case. So I cannot stress enough to make sure that you plan accordingly and have a plan B, C, and D <laughs> so that if your uh, first plan doesn't work out, you won't be left disappointed. But at the end of the day, don't forget to enjoy the journey. I'm all about getting those beautiful Instagram photos when I go, but connection and culture and community are, are things that I really enjoy when I hit the road. And I think that any traveler, in order to get the most out of your trip, you should be seeming or you should be uh, trying to get a combination of the two. But to be honest with you, do you, boo. Don't get so caught up that you forget to have fun. It's not about the minute details of what day and time we're visiting the park. It's what we do when we get to this national park, what we see, who we meet, what we eat. And so those are things that we can't necessarily plan to the letter. And I think that's a beautiful thing. We're getting on the road again at the top of the list.